This video is a quick overview of the primary features of Tennis Toolkit. There are two primary applications, the first of which is Shot Recorder, which allows you to track and record information about games that you observe. When we start that, it takes us to the Session Start screen, where we fill out the parameters for a given match. We'll create a new game here. We'll enter Bob and we will change it from hybrid mode to game mode. There are three different modes of operation. Those are covered in a separate video. And we'll go ahead and create the session. And as you'll see, we have a scoreboard on screen and a variety of buttons down the right hand side. There are three different modes for entering information into Shot Recorder. Those are also the subject of a separate video. I'm just going to jump to the uh, primary mode, which uh, most people use, that is called One Touch. In One Touch mode, we swipe from the shot type that we wish to record onto the correct location on the screen. You'll see that the shot is then marked on the screen. If it has a solid center, the ball is in. If it has a red center, the ball is out. And we can mark the other shots on the screen until such time as the ball goes out of play. When that happens, the rally end screen will be presented and we can record what happened in that particular rally. In this case, the player hit a ball out, so the only options available are a forced error or an unforced error. And we'll record that as an unforced error. The scoreboard increments and the shot buttons are then reset, so only the appropriate shot buttons are available. I'm going to record a few more points here. Let's say they serve, and this time it's a double fault. And serve again. This time we'll mark a rally in, we'll say the opponent hit a return winner. Not looking good for Bob. The screen performance is a little slow due to the use of Chromecasting to record this session. We'll mark some additional shots here. You'll notice if we mark a shot, in this case we marked it out, we didn't wish to do so, we can cancel that. Then we can hit undo and it will remove that shot and adjust the score backwards. We can then place the correct shot that was in play and perhaps we have a rally end because that was a winner and not a ball that was out. Okay, I'm going to drop out of one touch mode and go back to the uh, primary interface and we have a number of options on the screen here. We can rotate the court and enter shots at any point in time. We can hit the scoreboard button to modify the score. Let's say we made a mistake and it's not 40-15, it's 30 all. We can go ahead and save that. If we hit the filter button, it will display all the shots of a particular type on the screen. And repeated presses of that will show us where those shots are landing on the court so we can see groupings. We've not entered much in this particular session yet. Undo deletes the last shot as we demonstrated earlier. We can turn on the grid and this is used for shot announcements. If we mark a position 34. on the court. 35. 25. 25 wide in. First serve 25 wide in. That's particularly helpful in one touch mode so that we can move the shot, get confirmations of where that shot is going, and then release our finger to place the shot in that particular location without taking our eyes off the game that's in progress. Info button just gives us information about our present configuration in this particular session. And the help screen, we can get a variety of help regarding Tennis Toolkit and Shot Recorder. The other primary application is Court Reporter. Court Reporter allows us to open prior sessions and perform analysis on those results. We can select a session here. The one that we just recorded was Bob slash opponent. I'm actually going to pick Sam slash Dave because that's a full set. We get a brief summary of the players, the number of shots, the number of shots for each particular uh, time.
type of stroke, uh, winners, errors, for example, points won, aces, double faults, etc. If we go to choose a particular report, we can look at first serve, for example, and that will give us the similar information but limited to the first serve. So as our service to add do side or misses where those misses were, and we can look at our uh, in play percentages. We can look at things like errors. Um, we're missing mostly long. Eight of those were long. Three went to the net, and only one wide to the right, and none wide to the left. We pick a different stroke. Let's see the forehand. Again, have the summary screen. The number of times we used the forehand quite accurate, 91% is pretty good. Percentage in play, like I said, 91%. The misses, uh, quite small, uh, mostly long, but uh, not a significant number. If we look at the placement of those shots, uh, 36 of those were in the three to six feet from the baseline. It's an excellent uh, location. Click on the opponent tab. This tells us how the opponent fared on returning that particular shot. So from our forehand, our opponent hit four return winners and two unforced errors. We can select uh, other shots as well, of course. Basically select all the shots that were um, configured. And if custom shots are configured, those will show there also. And we can just look at the information on a shot-by-shot -shot basis. If we wish to share information with others, we can click on the uh, share button when we have selected a report. I'll select Gmail and it will attach the various results pages and the report and we can email those to anyone that we wish.